hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i use zoom on my phone if you're interested keep watching so the first thing to do is to locate the google play store app on your phone and type in zoom so when you're done you're going to be prompted to install zoom onto your device okay so when you click on the install button and the installation is completed so you're going to see the option to open like you would do for every other device or every other app that you use so you're going to see a screen like this that prompts you to join a meeting to sign up or to sign in so you can join a meeting if you already have the meeting id but, but that's not what we're doing today we're going to be signing up but then if you already have a zoom account right before now you can decide to click on the sign in button and then enter your login details and this will take you to your zoom account but because we've not done that we're going to see a notification that says login field and so because we're going to sign up the next thing we want to do is to sign tap on the sign up button so when you click on the sign up button on the screen that you have right now okay it's going to prompt you to enter your email and your first name last name and then you have to agree to the terms and condition and when you're done typing that you're going to be prompted to go into your email account to activate your zoom account so you're going to see a screen like this prompting you to go into your account to activate it so as soon as you see that just activate your account and then you will be expected to put in some login details with your password okay type in your password zoom expects you to have a capital letter at the beginning of your password that's what i've observed so just confirm that and then you come into back to this screen so at this point remember we signed up we can then sign in so you can now enter your email address and the password that you just used to sign up i hope that that's really very simple using your phone please watch this video on full screen so that you can see it clearly so after you signed in you're going to come into a screen like this it gives you the option of meet and chat you have the option of meetings and the option of contact and then this set so we just go through this one by one so the first option here is a new meeting on top so you have the join as a second one the third one the third one is schedule a meeting and the fourth one is share a screen so we're just going to walk through this the first one is start a meeting so when you click on that you're expected to start your meeting but then you can put your video on or off and then you can see your pin right should you want to invite anyone to join the meeting so when you start a meeting you, you would see a screen like this remember that we did not check on the start video so your picture or your logo would come on screen as you can see but you can choose to tap on the start button or the start of video button and then your participants would be able to view you or see you it's kind of dark the screen is kind of dark right apologies for that but that's what you should see when you click on the start video but if you don't want that turned on you can have your picture or your id come up that's depending on what you want to do so on the participant tab you would notice chat invite mute all unmute all so when you tap on the chat button you can have the opportunity of chatting with your participant or sending a message to them you can choose to send to everyone or you can choose to send to an individual or groups of individual depending on who and then when you tap on the invite you have an option of sending the pin or the password via messages or gmail to your participant or to those you want to invite for the meeting you can choose to mute and unmute the screen that depends on what you want to do you should be able to just control your class or your participant or what is happening so in the more button you would notice the disconnect audio and then the meeting settings i like to check you to just check this meeting settings with me so here you can set your meetings check your meeting topic you can lock the meeting that way no one can come in you can lock share that way you're the only one sharing you can mute an entry you can pin play chime for enter and exit that's when somebody comes into the class you can tell and then when somebody exits you can also tell with a sound or notification prompt so these settings can be done based on what you want to do with your zoom or with your class or with your participant while 
you're working so when you're done with the settings you just go back and then you continue and uh, you may want to end your screen on the top right corner so when you end you have an option of leaving the meeting or ending the meeting appropriately so by leaving the meeting other people can continue with the meeting but ending it says that the meeting is over so just walk through your zoom app basically so the next option here says that you can join a meeting that's if you already have the meeting id like we said earlier so you tap on that and enter in the meeting id that you already have for the meeting you would want to join and the other one that says schedule i like this part you can schedule a meeting by setting the date the time the topic the time zone please check the repeat option and then use personal meeting id so when you send the schedule to your participants or pupils they will be able to get the id and you can send this to them via email so i like the last option of settings here you can adjust your settings your contact settings your meeting settings and then make sure that you have whatever works for you you can check your meeting setting your chat settings also so you can turn off your video you can turn it on you can always show video preview you can save your video you can close captioning you can do whatever you want to do at this point with your settings i hope this helps and i hope this will work and then for your chat settings also you can check your chats you can adjust it and then if you like this video i like you to give it a thumb up share with your friend that's how i basically use zoom on my phone if you do not have your devices running up so see you in the next video bye if you are new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you